What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and right now I'm going to tell you about what I think is the new best feature in Disgaea 7. Well, kind of new. We have actually had this as an iteration once before in Disgaea 5, but it is now back in Disgaea 7 and honestly it is probably the most fun I have had in a very, very long time. I am talking about pvp online battles against other players so what is it how does it work and why do i enjoy it so much well firstly you will unlock this after going through some of the main story you'll typically get it about halfway through and what it basically entails is if we speak to the npc right now real quick as you can see we've we are greeted by a couple of things okay so on the right hand side at the top there that is basically how long the current tournament is going for because yes it is tournament style now the tournaments will last one week so every week this will actually reset okay and then on the bottom right there is my statistics okay so with that out of the way let's actually talk about what each of these numbers are so firstly the 435 million okay that is my strength rating basically that is that is the strength of my team pretty much the 18 is how many matches i've played the 15 is how many wins i've got and the three is how many losses i have the 1119 i'm not actually entirely sure on what that actually is but the 113 is my rank in the current tournament bracket now in order to actually play with you know the actual pvp it will use auto battle it will use demonic intelligence but that's not as bad as you might think okay so what you would actually do is you are going to build a team pretty much so with building a team you can put on any unit you want up to 10 units so if i wanted to you know i could just i could throw all of these units on that that's perfectly fine even on the uh, the little wood symbol right there i could throw units on that doesn't matter and you can have up to 10 units so as you can see right now i've placed my 10 and i cannot place any more however i'm going to get rid of them because they're all weak so once you've placed your units you can then actually create like the demonic intelligence for them now these demonic intelligences are also the same ones that you use you know when you want to auto battle in the main game but again that is incredibly limited in the main game. I do have a video also explaining that. If you want to take a look at the playlist down below in the description, you can find it in there. But essentially, what this comes down to is you are going to create a demonic intelligence, either one for all of your characters, or you can create them more specialized and individual. Because the game's in Japanese, however, and I don't speak Japanese, I'm sort of just leaving these blank and default for now. I'm going to more, you know, do a deep dive once the English version is released. Other than giving each character the individual demonic intelligences, you can also assign roles. So, for example, if you wanted to, you could create two healer characters or you could create two tank characters like I'm going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two tanks. They're just going to, you know, take all the aggro from the enemy. I'm going to have a healer, a buffer, and then obviously my, my main damage dealers. And then once you have, once you have actually gone ahead and done your demonic intelligences, you can also do a few different things. So firstly, you can actually change your equipment. Obviously, you want, you want to make sure you have the best equipment ready for this because you are going to be going up against other players as well and they're not going to pull any punches, so why should you? And you can also change your abilities as well. Once you've done all of this, you are going to come out and then you can either test your, your fight if you want. You can either test your layout against an AI-generated fight. It seems to try and match your current strength value, the AI-generated fight does. And if you want to, you can also change the name of your team. Once you've done all that, you can save your team and then it will give you your strength rating. So obviously for me, that is 435. Now, why I like this feature so much is, aside from the fact you can play against other players, which was incredibly, incredibly fun in Disgaea 5 and really made the end game interesting, 
you can actually also take a look at other players' builds. So right now, this character, well, this person right here, he is ranked number one. He's got a strength rating of 1.6, nearly 1.7 billion using nine characters. So I'm going to select him real quick. And now we can take a look at what characters he's using, what equipment he's using, um, what evilties he is using, and also, you know, just like the general stats of his units. Now, this is good for a few ways, okay? Firstly, it allows you to really experience different people's builds. You know, you can see what works at the top of the board, or you could be more interested in seeing, you know, something more balanced towards you. You can basically do whatever you want with this information. But you can then also, if you want to, you can actually click them again and you can actually fight the rank number one, for example, if you really want to. Also on this screen, you can see the rewards. Yes, rewards. So what are the rewards? Well, firstly, for first place, it is 1 billion HL. Now, do not underestimate that, okay? HL is extremely, extremely important in this game. It is by far, like Disguise 7 is by far the most important game in the Disguise franchise that HL is useful in, okay? HL has the best uses in this game, but I'll be talking about them in a different video. You will also get Magic Soaring, which is used for auto battle on normal stages. Ignore the L, that doesn't matter. It's basically just 300, 200, uh, depending on where you actually rank in the leaderboard, to a minimum of 50. However, these rewards do actually change depending on how many people are taking part in the bracket. As for the weapons, they appear to be all of the unique type weapons that you are going to get from these tournaments. So just like the traditional joke weapons in previous Disgaea games, it seems to be that this is how you get them in Disgaea 7. Now, if we go to swords real quick, if I move down the list, as you can see, we do have... Oh, wrong one. Where are they? Is it fists? It might be fists. No, not fists. Uh... They're somewhere. I found I found these ones before. But basically, you can view all of the uh, the joke equipment in, you know, the game, pretty much. And what it basically is, is I believe they are all going to come from PvP. Because I've not found anything else to get them, basically. Like, that, I've not found anything from the item world or anything like that. That's why I think they're all coming from here. Now, with that said, what else can you do? Well, you can actually improve your own ranking. Obviously, it's a tournament. And to do that, you're basically just going to use your team against another AI team. So right now, it has given me three different teams that I can fight with. Let's say, for example, though, they are way too strong for me and I definitely can't beat them. Not a problem. You just have to back out of the menu and go back in and it will refresh the team for you, giving you a completely new set. Once you have found a team that you want to fight, let's go ahead and fight this 85th ranked team right here. Simply click on the team and it will bring up all the information for you to check, their equipment, their stats, etc. And then we're going to hit X again to actually start the engagement. And now what this is going to do, it's going to pit my team with my demonic intelligence against his team with his demonic intelligence. Unfortunately, my team vastly overpowered his, so it was over instantly. And I've now moved up the rankings. Now, why is, the, why is this my favorite feature so far in Disguise 7? Simple. It is a new end game. Okay. Once, once you've beaten Ball, you can go ahead and fight other people that have beaten ball so ball is no longer the top dog okay what who is the top dog whoever is still playing this game now unfortunately this does mean as the game gets older and older and older and less people are playing this might become a little bit redundant unfortunately however while the game is new and active this is going to be one of the absolute most fun features ever just like it was in disgaea 5 especially once you actually understand the language and you can build proper setups <laughs> but though guys that is going to be it for this video i just wanted to give you guys more information on the pvp system and why i think it is the new best feature of course if you disagree or you want to know anything else about this game drop a comment down below and let me know 
Also, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really helps out. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be having a ton of guides for Disgaea 7, both on the Japanese and on the English version as well when that is released. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.